Hallelujah, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Our devotion for today is on the fruits of the Spirit, this time goodness. We uh, begin with our hymn, Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing. Come thou fount of every blessing, tune my heart to sing thy grace. Streams of mercy never ceasing, call for songs of loudest praise. While the hope of endless glory fills my heart with joy and love, Teach me ever to adore thee, may I still thy goodness prove. Here I raise my Ebenezer, here by thy help I've come, and I hope by thy good pleasure safely to arrive at home. Jesus sought me when a stranger, wandering from the fold of God, he to rescue me from danger, interposed his precious blood. A reading now from Galatians chapter 2. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The, uh, the fruits of the Spirit, uh, one of them is goodness. Um, we recognize that goodness in ourselves can only be a gift from God. Right? The psalmist says, without a doubt, no one is good. No, not one. There is not one person before conversion that is good in and of themselves before God. That is what the scriptures say without a doubt. If we are to have anything good in ourselves, it is because it is a a fruit, a gift of the Spirit that comes in those who have faith in Jesus Christ, faith, true faith in God. Now, one of the things that, uh, how this happens is what we heard in Galatians chapter 2. He says, I have been crucified with Christ. Therefore, it is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. We crucify our flesh with its passions and with its desires. And Christ himself, who has promised that he dwells in our hearts, he's the one that produces in us all kinds of, of goodness in our lives. It is Christ who lives in me. The life I live now, I live by faith in Christ. That is, I count everything good that comes out of my life in thoughts and words and deeds. I credit it all, not to myself and my goodness, but I credit it all to Jesus as a working of the fruit of the Spirit in my life. So when we look at our lives, dear Christians, and we say, well, I, I've done good to my neighbor, I have faith in God, and I have done these, these good things in my life, don't boast in yourself, dear Christians, but boast in Christ. Say, as the scriptures do, I have been crucified with Christ. It is therefore no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And so we thank God and praise him for the goodness that he works in us by his Christ and by his spirit. Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, in the, the midst of uh, everything going on in, in the world, all the turmoil and all the, uh, the unrest, we pray that uh, you would continue to, uh, to watch over us, that you would bless all those and, and watch over those who are sick, that you would bring them back to health. And uh, if it is your will that they should meet their end, that you would give them faith in you, that they might uh, come to everlasting life in your precious arms. This we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you always. Amen. Hallelujah. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed.
Hallelujah.